Dun 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 So, if you read the title and you saw the intro, you pretty much know what I'm going to review. I'm going to review King Kong, the Peter Jackson movie from 2005. Okay, so mainly um, the movie starts Naomi Watts and Jack Black. Let me just tell you something, Jack Black is a jerk in this movie, okay? I mean, Jack Black is a good actor, but Nominee's an idiot in this movie. Okay, so mainly Jack Black is making a movie, okay, and he needs something awesome in it. And they're trying to make one out on sea, but then they stumble upon this island, you know, full of myth, full of these creatures, and and Indians and stuff like that and then mainly uh, you get King Kong you don't you don't see King Kong until like one hour and ten minutes until to the movie okay the reason why I said one hour and ten minutes they're probably all like oh is this movie two hours long well that doesn't give us much of King Kong well you know what it's not two hours long no it's three hours and seven minutes almost as long as Titanic I would also say the Watchmen but I watched the director's cut which I thought the Watchmen was alright it wasn't really all that good in my opinion but yeah I really enjoyed this okay I really enjoyed this okay but anyways getting back on topic you know you know mainly uh, King Kong takes Naomi Watts to you know where King Kong is, where King Kong goes to, where and you know mainly he's all dancing Naomi wants his dancing to distract King Kong so she can go away from King Kong but you know he's she's spending time with King Kong and they become friends okay and King Kong wants to protect her And then, of course, you know, later on, you know, one of the people try to get Naomi Watts' character back. Uh, so, but King Kong wakes up and screeches and and leads. Oh, yeah, might as well mention there's a scene where um, where King Kong saves, saves Naomi Watts' character from these big, huge dinosaurs, you know, basically killing them. You know, this is PG-13. I gotta admit, they get away with some stuff. Like, there is a little bit of blood in it. Like, there's a scene where there's a man dead, lying dead and then there's blood. But, yeah, anyways, let, let me get back to what I was saying. So, mainly, Jack Black does a stupid thing. You know, mainly, he takes King Kong back to his home and basically tortures him. Let me tell you something, Jack Black is a dirty bastard in this. Yeah, I said bastard. So what? But still, sometimes he's a little bit of a jerk in this movie. But, you know, he... I just hate his character. I don't hate Jack Black, I just hate the character that he plays. Um, it doesn't... Um... He did better characters in other movies, like take for instance Kung Fu Panda. I don't really care for Nacho Libre. I never saw Nacho Libre, and I never will. But um, yeah. And then of course you know, basically King Kong is trying to look for Naomi Watts' character. You know, picking at woman to see, looking for a woman that looked like her, and then finally. Gets her. So mainly, you know, so King Kong can't catch him. You know, Naomi, Naomi Watts. Uh, mainly. Uh, okay. Uh, mainly you get to. Uh, you know, mainly uh, King Kong and Naomi Watts. They're, you know. King Kong skating on ice and then we finally get to the end scene where King Kong basically uh, kill basically try tries to destroy the planes that are attacking him on the Empire State Building 
And then in the end, you know, you get a sad scene where, you know, the, the planes finally kill him and then King Kong falls and crashes. And then oh, Jack Black says a stupid thing called it was beauty that killed the beast. No, Jack Black, it wasn't beauty that killed the beast. It was it was the planes that killed the beast. The planes, it was you guys that killed King Kong. No, nah, not not beauty. All right. But yeah, then the screen fadedly goes black and then you see the credits and the movie ends. I, I like this movie, okay? Okay, the Blu-ray is kind of impressive. Um, mainly this has the theatrical version and the extended version. The theatrical version is like uh, it says it's three hours and seven minutes long, and then the extended version is three hours and twenty minutes long. So that's thirteen more. Yeah, yeah, thirteen minutes more. And then you have a commentary. For the extended feature, commentary is director and co-writer Peter Jackson, co-writer, co-producer Philip Philippa Boyens. Eh. You know, so yeah, good movie, good movie. I finally just finished watching this movie today like uh, maybe an hour ago probably but this is good I came in this with low expectations and I gotta say it was pretty impressive I was really impressed I see why now that this is Sterling's favorite movie of all time check this movie out if you haven't seen it yet I recommend it I mean you got some pretty good features some pretty good features uh, mainly these should be the diff the these should be the additional features and these should be the main features okay because these main features right here are nothing they're just uh, widescreen and stuff like that but yeah a uh, really good movie I really enjoy it uh, if you haven't seen it yet it's um I did not think this movie was boring at all okay Overall, 5 out of 5 for this movie. This was really, really enjoyable. I really like this movie, okay? So, yeah, guys, if you haven't seen a King Kong, ouch, um, I recommend you check it out, okay? This is the only King Kong movie I watched, okay? I haven't watched any other King Kong movies. If they made another King Kong movie, and they made it in 3D. That would be cool. But I don't think they should make another King Kong movie. I think they should have ended off with this. Check it out. Uh, one of Peter Jackson's best films in my opinion. Okay. So yeah, check it out.